And let's be real about this. It's insane that we haven't raised the retirement age in the United States. It's bit of an odd angle considering your party's made up entirely of geriatrics, but all right, Ben, run it. Frankly, I think retirement itself is a stupid idea unless you have some sort of health problem. Everybody that I know who is who is elderly, who has retired, is dead within five years. And if you talk to people... <laughs> brother, brother, you are a glorified influencer, all right? You don't get to lecture anybody about work. But hey, Ben, even myself, we are profoundly fortunate people who get to sit behind the desk, talk to cameras, and type away to make our living, right? But we don't get to lecture the general public about what work even is. It's totally insane that you believe that you should be able to work from the time that you are essentially 20 to the time that you are 65, which is a 45 year period, pay in, and then you'll receive social security benefits sufficient to support you and your family, you and your wife or whatever, for like another 20 years. That's crazy talk. That is not fiscally sustainable. Bro basically just explained social security and then was like, that's crazy talk. And the idea that it's not fiscally responsible, like, okay, let's let's do this again, all right, boss? Social security was meant to be a cooperation agreement that if you worked your entire life and you were a contributing member of society and you paid taxes, right, that the government would then thank you in your later years when you were getting older by allowing you to retire a little more comfortably, right? It's not like the government's giving you a pension, right? When Ben says it's not fiscally viable or whatever, right? Let's think about why that is, right? It's because the politicians, the same ones who Ben's defending here and who thinks we're stupid enough to like not recognize that that's where this is coming from, right? Decided to give tax breaks to the wealthy people like Ben, right? As opposed to raising money from taxes and putting some of that money into social security. The notion that if you have to raise the retirement age to 67 or 60. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm not watching any more of this. How do you defend the interests of millionaires and billionaires so hard and, and build an audience off it? Like he's doing tricks on it, bro. I don't understand how you can say you should be working your entire freaking life and expect us to go like, yeah, dude, no, for sure, brother. Like a hundred percent people who, who agree with this. Have you not considered, right, as a whole, have you not considered that the only true freedom most Americans will ever experience is when they retire? That's if, you know, they didn't have a, a loved one with a debilitating, maybe terminal medical condition that whose medical bills they had to help pay or they don't have, you know, exorbitant amounts of, of, of college debt. Like if all of those checkboxes line up, if all of those things line up, you get maybe 10 years of true freedom. Those five to 10 years are the only time people get to, you know, you know, go on vacation wherever they want, play golf, listen to the Ben podcast. Like that's the only time. Yeah, I don't know.